What's up everybody? This is Mattia and today I actually made a change. Uh, as you can see I have much much better lightning going on. Not as good as I would in a final setup maybe but surely way way better than the president videos because I actually had the monitor pushed into the into the, the wall and the only line that was coming through was the one that was bouncing off the money sword itself from up there, the center of the room. So you weren't really seeing much around. <laughs> and well, today we are going to talk about the uh, triple wing Grand Via, a beautiful thick piece of cable. This thing is a snake. Um, it is a four core flat design. I didn't think it was flat, but even if, even with the fact that it is flat, it's so thick uh, in this part too that it doesn't really matter at all because <laughs> no matter how you bend it, it stays the same. It doesn't give you the problem that usually flat wires give you. That when you bend them in this way, they usually go like this. This just I can I can do anything I want with it. Look at this. It doesn't care. I turn it around, I squirt it in, and it doesn't care. It doesn't give a f. It's a massive, gigantic cable. It's so thick that I could compare it to an AC cord from the wall. No joke. And uh, it's super soft. It just stays there wherever you put it. Um, doesn't fight you, doesn't keep any any shape or form. Maybe the only issue that I have with it is that since it's so thick and it is made out of cloth, sometimes when I wrap it around, uh, around itself, it tends to do this. So the connector goes inside and it exits out from one of the curves around the cable and tends to kink itself a bit not too much not too much I it's not nearly as much as a problem as a standard HD 600 cable that thing was horrendous super thin spaghetti and it was fragile uh, it was three meters long three meters long what the fuck are you gonna do with three meters long I will understand it if you maybe were in a studio but most people that get the HD 600s, yeah, these are not the 6XX, I've actually painted these, they are the older version of the HD 600s uh, that I thought looked horrendous with the marbles. Uh, it was just an all, um, almost like stony look. Um, and I hated it. It made it look from, external, from an external point of view, very cheap. So I painted all of them black and yeah, here we are. Uh, they look like a 6XX. Totally. So, uh, where I was? Where, where was I? Um, where was I? Ah, uh, yeah, the, the, the 600 cable, the HD 600 cable. Uh, these actually, people buy these mostly for uh, enjoyment, for listening, not for studio use. So that cable is garbage, trash. Fuck you. And this is a 1.5 meters. I think you can also choose the 2.0 meter uh, option. I think there's also a 2.5 meter option. I, I don't know, I don't actually remember. Maybe there are just two options in terms of length. And this actually comes with the HD650 600 6XX line of headphones connector, which is the standard two pin. The HD HD800 um, like tube thing, and the standard like 3.5 millimeter um, three pole, I think, uh, the one that comes with the Harmonic Dime, Poseidon, and the Zeus both, and. This is a extremely nice cable for fifty dollars. I will doubt that Periat will come close to this thing. This thing for fifty dollars, it's magnificent and extremely flexible for its size. Uh, it is surprisingly, surprisingly flexible. 
uh, it's not stiff at all. When you hold it, when I actually held it for the first time and took it out of the box, it almost drooped from my hand to, to, to the floor because it's just super silky. It doesn't really have any kind of friction and that's due to the fact that it's basically a shoelace. Many shoelaces with inside some copper and wiring to let sound pass through and reach your headphones. Uh, yeah, I do like myself some shoelaces. So, connectors. Connectors are super fine. Uh, they're not metal. They're rubber mixed with plastic, but they're a solid block and it's a non really working strain relief because the rubber is so stiff. It doesn't really prevent the wire from getting damaged, but it's so thick it doesn't fucking care. Uh, the split is actually not metal, it's, it's a shrinking tube, uh, just super, super minimal, nice thing. This will not give you any problems if you, um, if you pass it, uh, smash it into your table when you're listening to headphones and where you may be moving around. This won't give you any issue because there is no thickness here. It's just shrink and then division. And you have the double braided two things coming out, an R. Uh, yeah, the connector is a metal thing covered in, um, covered in rubber, just like the connectors. Although this feels a bit nicer. And with the triple win brand right here, and uh, 3.5 golden connector. So, yeah, of course you can choose the 4.4. 4. I don't think you can choose the 2.5, but you have the XLR balance. Oh, by the way, the XLR balanced and the 4. Point, maybe just the XLR balance are going to cost more and add more to the, to the cost of the actual cable. In the standard form, like I got it uh, in a 3.5 with the HD600 connector, it's uh, $50. Also, if you get with it with the 3.5 from the, uh, like with the Harmonic Dyne, Poseidon and Zeus, that's also $50. But then when you choose the, um, the HD800 connector, it bumps it up to sixty dollars, uh, uh, and then to seventy if you choose the longer, uh, longer thing, longer end. I actually chose a one point five meter, so um, I don't really need that space, that, that much of a space, because my amp is literally in the border of the table, just about to fall off. Uh, I don't need much of a space and honestly i do like to bring open back headphones outside in the world um because i just like the feeling of having a soundtrack behind me and in the same time you're hearing all things going on around so these 600s are pretty minimalistic if you ask they're not absurdly gigantic and Maybe for my head, which is a bit of a square, it's an issue uh, because they stick out a bit. But compared to other headphones, these are some of the most low profile in the over-ear audiophile game. So I chose those. Why not a, a close back headphone? Because I don't want to die outside. I, I want to hear some cars, honestly. And I want to prevent myself from, you know, getting run over. So yeah, absolutely worthwhile investment, $50. This thing brings so much more than a value, uh, uh, than an IM cable, because it's just so much bigger. <laughs> Literally, there's so much more material and it's so much nicer to actually hold it in your hands that it just, just ups the value proposition by a lot, by, by quite a notch. And generally, IM cables are uh, cheaper than headphone cables, uh, just because there's much less material going on, and IMs tend to be the ones actually purchased more, and the connectors aren't as expensive. Uh, yeah, it's a way smaller cable, and an IM cable is just a way smaller cable, and. 
well, generally, I, I really love this thing. I, wow, holy crap, $50 for this kind of cable. I doubt that Periapt may do something like this for $50. Uh, so, yeah, that's all. Um, I think the Moondrop Quarks review is coming up soon ish depending on the you know, on the um, expedition time but uh, other things maybe just that and maybe i'm going to buy the seven hertz timeless to get a review on those too and i will be extremely clear with that i'm going to do like a one of those old uh, style reviews that I loved so much, like the 35 minute ramble to the my most minute, smallest of detail that I can spurt out from my mouth um, just by looking at the other thing. I just want to talk, I just want to express myself as better as I can because I don't want anything to be left over. If I have a thing I have on my mind and I don't say it in the review, it's almost like eating a, I don't know, it's almost like taking a punch into the mouth uh, that keeps it shut. And I do it to myself. I don't want to do it, but clearly people are not going to watch 35 minute reviews to, in a thing unless they are extremely interested in buying it. So I can't, but that, that thing is an exception because the 7 hertz timeless is so much raved uh, about till uh, honestly to this day uh, I don't I don't know when the hype started I think it was a couple of months ago that thing is insane at least they say it's insane so that's all I love this cable the pairing with these nicers make it look beautiful in terms of sound, maybe a 1 dB boost in the sub bass, but not much else going on. Come on, guys. Especially in headphones, cable do not make that much of a difference. Fight me. So, see you next time.